Dude, let me tell you something, man. Before I get into what everybody gets wrong about Raid Shadow Legends, I gotta show you the biggest thing that Plarium get wrong <laughs> with Raid Shadow Legends. What the hell is going on with matchmaking in Siege Mode? Can anybody tell me? Does anybody know? Can anybody explain what I'm about to show you guys? So, of course, I'm shooting this video, like, from a few days ago so that the Clan Siege is still going on. By the time you're watching this, it's probably over. But let's look at the enemy clan, dude. Ooh. 88 million clan power, which is like a reflection of how powerful the champs are on everybody's accounts, right? So 88 million. Okay, man, what's our clan looking like up against an 88 million opponent? Okay, here we are, man. GL boot camp, 30 out of 30, but oh god. 33 million. We are outpowered in clan siege by almost triple. They are 3xing our clan power, and there is absolutely 0% chance that we have any hope at all of defeating this clan, unless, like, all of them suffer a power outage at exactly the same time and lose internet service and etc uh, etc et for the next, you know, 48 hours. I mean, look at these defense teams. These are, like, the earliest defense posts. Like, the average team power on our clan is, like, 120k, 130k, something like that. What is this? Like, we can't even take post 7, for Christ's sake. It's the same thing on post 8 as well. Like what, no, like, what are we doing here, man? What are we doing, you know? So it's just a matter of time till we lose. That's it. Like, what is this matchmaking, dude? This matchmaking is insane. Also, we lost our last CVC as well uh, with the personal rewards. We lost quite badly. We just kind of let it go in the end. We're like, geez, they're like tripling our points. Let's just leave this alone. But at least in CVC, if I wanted to just... I don't know, start a GoFundMe and spend $2,000 or something, and then you could win in a CVC. <laughs> At least you can pay to win in a CVC, you know? Which is kind of bad on its own. Like, I'm not I'm not defending CVC. That's a, that's a whole other kettle of fish, you know? But in Siege, it's like, you've either won or you've lost in a situation like this before it's even begun. Like, it's already finished. As soon as the matchmaking's decided, it's like, oh, well. You know, and to be honest, siege mode does kind of tie into what I'm going to get into in this video, man. So before we do get into what everybody gets wrong about Raid Shadow Legends, bro, if you're looking to start off a new Raid account, a new free-to-play adventure, or maybe you started off a new account and it's kind of going all pear-shaped or you made a big mistake like feeding your starting champion as food or something crazy and you're looking for a clean slate, man, kickstart your new account by clicking on the promo link down below at the top of the video description and you will unlock the epic S tier quality support champ Rector Draft. As soon as that new account hits level 25, it's an awesome, awesome new player promo link. And by using that link, you also help to support the channel over here as well. So I appreciate the crap out of everybody who does decide to do that. So Siege Mode is a total disaster. Comparing my teams to this guy's teams, I just feel I feel like an ant. I feel like nothing. I feel garbage. I feel trash. I don't know why we were matched up against these guys. And I think that honestly, you can extend their thinking out towards things like arena, live arena, especially live arena. Oh my god. Uh, tag arena, you know, any kind of situation where the game pits you against other players and you compare yourself to other players, even things like tournaments, you know what I'm saying? All these areas of the game that compare you to other players and where you're going up against other players, anything that's even slightly like PvP, these things are traps, dude. Because frankly, just like anything in life in general, anytime you're comparing yourself to other people, that's just like a feel bad generator it just is okay there are a hundred goddamn people in this tournament you know what i'm saying it just happens that i'm in first place in this one so maybe it's not a good example okay but one person gets to feel good in this tournament maybe second and third feel pretty pleased with themselves as well you know the other 96 people are probably a little bit ticked off that they're not getting some relentless gear you know in a situation like this a more extreme example the Soul Chase Tournament, which has probably ended again by the time you're watching this video, trying to get their hands on a 5-star Shamil Perfect Soul. Yeah, this is another one of those things. Most people in this tournament are going to be annoyed, are going to be disappointed, are going to feel like they should just give up before they even begin, and not going to feel good and are comparing themselves to other players. And dude, the best advice I ever heard in a Raid Shadow Legends video when I was just first getting into the game was, man, look, play Raid Shadow Legends as if it is a single player roguelike game. What does that mean? If you're not familiar with roguelike games, roguelike games, you kind of throw yourself at um, kind of like recurring challenges. It might be like waves of enemies, then a boss shows up every now and again, then you defeat that boss, and then more waves of enemies uh, spawn, and then you go up against another boss, you know, and you see how far you can get every run, and hopefully on every run, you get a little bit further. And this is like the best advice I ever heard for Raid. This is how you enjoy Raid, and 
don't go insane, you know? Because that way, you're not comparing yourself to other players, you're comparing yourself to where you were last week or yesterday or last month or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And that is just a much, much healthier way to go about it. You're gonna be able to measure your own success much, much more cleanly. And you're gonna be able to just have fun in the game as if it's a single player game with some social aspects. In addition to just kind of taking the pressure off yourself and taking the game at your own pace and not worrying too much about what's going on in your account and, oh, I should I should be further ahead at this point. I don't have my Arbiter missions done yet or blah, 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 you know, whatever milestone it is you feel like you should have achieved at a certain time. Who the hell cares, right? It's just you versus you, right? You're just progressing at your own pace. It doesn't matter. It also kind of alleviates this, uh, this feeling that, ooh, maybe I should be buying the monthly gem pack from the shop or maybe i should buy the uh like the monthly shard pack that becomes available because i want to keep up with my clan uh, or because i want to help out my clan in things like cvc or even clan siege you know ooh, clan siege my clan is really really struggling man i gotta spend you know but dude if you're just playing the game as if it's single player, it really, really takes that pressure off a lot. Um, it detracts from the need to... Uh, some people have very, very addictive personalities, you know? And they get addicted to hitting progress at a certain level or being, you know, one of the top members of their clan and really kind of boosting everybody and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, those players are awesome, you know? It's your goddamn cash. Spend it how you want. But I just feel like every mechanic in the game that pits players against other players runs the risk of making you feel like you're somehow falling behind, you know? Whereas, dude, it's a video game. You're right on time for you, okay? Now, there'll be somebody watching this video right now. Bro, I've been stuck on Brutal Clan Boss for three years. Don't tell me I'm right on time. Like, okay, man, you need help. You know, you're the exception. And if that's the case, I've linked my uh, Clan Boss beginner guide down below in the video description to help you all out, man, because it should be crackable after two or three years of playing Raid, you know? But no, man, I'm mostly kidding, genuinely. Um, and to be honest, this kind of feeds into another topic as well. Dude, if you're constantly just trying to min-max in Raid Shadow Legends, like, honestly, players in video games everywhere have a bad habit of doing this, and it drives me insane, okay? And what that is, is that whenever, like, a new MMO releases, or even a game like Raid, you know, comes out, people get so, so obsessed with min-maxing everything, oh, this is the, the, these are like the 10 champs you want to max up first, um, you must start off with like this starting champion or that starting champion, you know, like this is the way that you do it to absolutely min-max your account, you can end up min-maxing the fun out of your account as well, you know, sometimes it's just funny to max out a champ because they're bad and just see what you can get done out of them, you know, see what, see what value you can get out of them, you think I would have basically maxed out King Garog, skill books and everything. If I was trying to be competitive with other players, no way, man. Like, I just maxed this guy. He's like the only champ on my account that I've done this with. Why well, I just thought, you know what, man? He has terrible reviews. I'm going to take him up to max anyway because I actually do need an Arena Nuka. I know he's not the best going, obviously. But how funny would it be, you know, if he just shows up in Arena every now and then and just starts one shotting people out of nowhere, you know? And even if I eventually replace him, big deal, whatever, you know? Like, it was fun while it lasted. I have a big rule when it comes to playing games recently that, I don't know, maybe you'll find useful, maybe you'll take something away from it. And the rule is really, really simple. If you're not enjoying the game in the moment and you're not enjoying the process of grinding towards your goals in the game, then don't think that achieving the goals is going to make you feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not enjoying the process of grinding things like your void shards or grinding up your, uh, your like, coins to buy soul stones or whatever, like, if the process of just playing the game day in, day out and the grind is not fun for you, then you shouldn't be playing the game in the first place, man. If all you're looking forward to is pulling the soul stones and pulling the shards and that's all you care about and that's all you're fixating on and spending the skill tomes and stuff in the tavern, right? Then I feel like you're just focusing on the wrong thing because at the end of the day, pulling those shards, using those skill tomes and really like the min-maxing of your account, that's like, it constitutes less than 1% of your playtime. You know, the grind is everything in a game like Raid. And where the hell was I going with this? I don't even know, man. I just thought I'd hit record and ramble for a little bit and talk about, you know, where I'm at with things like this, man. I think the TLDR is, don't forget that Rage Shadow Legends is just a game. It's not a competition. It's not a tournament, despite what the constant flow of tournaments will tell you, you know. Um, treat it like a single player game. Treat it like a roguelite. And just have fun every now and then, man. If there's a champ on your account that you think is you think is the bee's knees that you think is awesome, maybe you want to take Scabrius up to level 60 and just see what you can get done with him. 
for the hell of it, you'll probably find use for him somewhere, right? And maybe you really, really like his absolutely, I don't know, delicious design. What the hell is going on with these rats coming out of his skin, dude? That's some of the gnarliest crap I've ever seen in my life. But maybe you're a huge Skaven fan in Warhammer 40k and you want to take him up to max level anyway. Just do it, dude. That's my advice, you know, throw all of the guides and all the advice out of the window and just have fun with the video game that you're playing. And don't forget that it's just a video game. But more than anything, compare yourself not to other people, but to who you were yesterday. That's how we grow, boys. That's how we grow. All right, man. I think that's about it. And I'm, I'm going to leave it there and go pray that Plarium do something about Siege and just, I don't know, start maxing clans based on clan power and the clan's overall activity you know, in relation to that clan power and just fix the matchmaking in Siege. I don't know what the hell is going on with this goddamn thing, but um, yeah, in the meanwhile, I'm just not going to let it bother me. I've got it out of my system. That's it. We're done. We're finished. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, if you haven't used code GAMELEAP, go ahead and input promo code GAMELEAP to get your hands on 10 free experience brews, a free energy refill, and 100,000 silver. It also helps support the channel quite a bit, so make sure to share this code with your clan mates as well, if and where you can, man, because yeah, it really, really helps to support the channel quite a substantial amount. So, for now, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Share your thoughts down below. I suppose it'd be interesting to hear what you guys think about this and, uh, and your outlook on Raid and how you don't let the grind get to you and um, how you like to enjoy the game, you know? Maybe I'm alone on this one. Thanks for stopping by, and I'm going to catch all of you all just a tad bit later, man.